it's cold. <coughs> it's about 50, what, 55 degrees? Yeah. Uh. About 55 degrees, we're in Arizona in the middle of nowhere. There's mountains all around us. Sky, sky don't look too good. But uh, we're about to go check out the thing. We've been seeing it everywhere we've been driving. Thing. And we are here at the thing. So we're gonna check it out. It's a I don't know, museum tour or some type of deal. Let's go see what it's about. So we're doing the thing and uh, we gotta follow the yellow footsteps. It's pretty cold though. I thought the thing was gonna be I thought it was gonna be indoors. Hey, it was only a dollar for this. Hey, a dollar each. Two dollars. Pretty cool cars. In here. Sell those cars. <laughs> this is weird. What is this? This is very special exhibit. Some freak carved all these out of wood. So I let piece of wood. And that is some crazy stuff going on in there. Pretty cool little car right there. Weird looking deal. Of course, we got the mountains again. This is the one, one of the worst marriage piece on earth. It is the only one in the world. Weird looking gun. That looks like a seahorse. Made in Constantinople. Constantinople. Constantinople in the 1700s. Made in Spain in the 1680s. Made in Turkey in the late 1600s. What's that? What are you doing over there? It's heavy in the middle. Some weird carvings. Well, here, here lies the thing, which is fake piece of it. Crap. Is it fake or is it not? But it's fake. What are you trying to do? Make out with it? I can tell by the uh, <laughs> artifactual bone structure that it's not real. <laughs> Bro, you found my 
like all this stuff in the garage, so don't put it together and go like, and we can put it in this today. I feel it's creepy. This is what you get when you come to Arizona. Well, folks, I think that's it. Cost two dollars. It was interesting, I guess. Some weird, creepy artifacts. It's cold. I didn't pack for cold. I thought it was spring and summertime. But we are done. Back in the store. What's going on, guys? It's kind of dark, but we just made it over to the Hoover Dam. Doing a little sightseeing. That's pretty cool. Bunch of tourists like us. Come look us down there. It's cold everywhere. Ears are popping. We're still getting adjusted to this altitude. True bloodline at the Hoover Dam. <laughs> One last look. Too bad there's not a restroom. Hmm. There's the, the Jeep blinding us. We're probably gonna go stay at Circus Circus because we are tired of being in this car. It's right there. And uh, I got a good rate. We were supposed to, we try to stay at the uh, Palace Station where the tryouts are gonna be held at. And they were all booked up. So we're trying to find, we're trying to stay somewhere as close so we don't have to. Uh, you know, travel too far to get to the uh, tryouts and uh, Circus Circus is right across the street. Look at the lights here, my friend. I'm not scared of clowns. I'm terrified of clowns. What's going on? We're here with UFC vet Johnny Bedford. We're in the house. I thought you were taking a photo. I didn't realize we were recording. Nah. I'm bad. <laughs> This is uh, True Bloodline Chronicles. We're over here with the Ultimate Fighter Tryouts 155. We got Evan Tanner over here. He's, I, I called you Evan Tanner. It's Evan oh, Cuts. Cuts. It's Cuts. Cuts. Yeah, yeah, Cuts. Because we were talking, we were in the desert walking. We were talking about how Tanner, you know, passed yeah, away yeah, in the yeah, desert. Yeah. But anyways, uh, uh, he's trying out at 55, drop, dropping down. You know, he used to be a 170er. I used to be a 45er. You know, I'm still him. Now we're at uh, 55. Got to get this tryout. But uh, got Johnny over here. So apparently the Hero FC needs a 135er to fight DJ uh, because Javier broke his hand. So we're trying to get this man on the card. Uh, stay tuned, many big things coming. True Bloodline, True Bloodline Chronicles. Anything to say, man? Nope, give me that fight. June 6th. June 6th. Hero, I'm Hero coming FC. for your belt, baby. What's up, what's up? 
Uh, here we are in Vegas, cruising around, already checked in. Let's see if you can see my numbers right there, here somewhere. Where's that? Let me get it in the view. There it is, 157. 157 in the house, already checked in. They're doing the uh, 170 fighters first. So, um, we got plenty of time. We're gonna go check out some Mid gyms before we go back. Yeah, wind road, make a left, right? Yeah. We're gonna go check out some gyms, maybe Extreme Couture, maybe uh, Juan. But first, right now, we're going to uh, Mayweather's gym. Um, check that out. See if he's around, maybe he's in there training. Maybe I can get a little sparring session with that. Does he have a nickname? Money, money, because we're Mayweather. money team. We can show them how them TBL boys do it. TBL living in the easy, you know what I mean? But uh, I feel good. Uh, turned in my application and uh, I stepped on the scale. I was probably one of the lightest fighters there. Only uh, weighed 160, ate a fat, huge breakfast. Had all my clothes, cell phone, shirt, shoes, everything on. Been a little underweight. Uh, Taking this ride out here to Vegas, didn't you know, eat the best and have the best diet. Um, uh, some stress been going on in my life, and when I stress, uh, I can't keep weight on. Uh, I don't eat, probably, <coughs> I guess. I don't know, who cares? But I ain't stressing today. Well, yeah, I, and uh, feel good, feel good about this. Uh, so I'll be going back. I got Johnny Bedford over there, he's going to uh, let me know, give me, shoot me a message. Whenever uh, they start the 55ers, I'm number 157, so it'll be a while. First thing they're going to do is start out with rolling, and then if you make it past rolling, then you go into striking. And turn right onto Wind make it Road. Past striking, In a quarter mile, then turn you go left into the uh, personal interviews with your application and the, uh, what do they call them? Uh, directors? Uh, what do they call the guys? The casting people? I don't know. But uh, we are on the way. If you can hear Siri, she's telling us how to get there. You can see the TBL bag in the back. You know how we do it, TBL living. Um, Vegas is all right, you know, that ain't for me. And then take a left on what street? Shiffin. Shiffin? Yeah, S-C-H-I-F-F. Shiff, shiff, sniff, sniffle. Snuffle, sniff, sniff it. Anyways, uh, we'll see if uh, Mayweather's getting some work in or if he's uh, he's done getting work in. I doubt it. You know, he's still got a week to the fight. It'd be badass if we could afford or come up on some tickets and we can make the fight. But I don't see that happening. You know, I'm not, in, you know, I'm not, I'm not on the biggest stage in the world yet. But I sure would love love to run into Conor McGregor. I'd love to just jump kick him. Carmen McGregor? Oh, Carmen. Yeah, that's his new name. Not not Conor. Carmen. Because in my book, he's a hizzo. Hope he sees this. Because I'm coming for him. You see that? Super knuckle? Look at that knuckle right there. That knuckle's probably triple the size of any knuckle he has. Put that across his face. I just don't like him. I love him, actually. I love all my brothers. But as a competitor, I dislike him. As a representation of the sport and the youth, I dislike him. He's sending a bad image. He's letting the youth know it's okay to get crazy-ass stupid tattoos all over your body, one. And two, it's okay to Turn be a bully. Turn to shift drive, and the destination is on your left. We're trying to end bullying. We ain't trying to be, uh, you know, whatever. Over there. Turn right onto shift drive, Turn. and the destination is on your left. See. Turn right onto West Wayne Avenue. We passed it, so now it's rerouting us. So we got rerouted because our ultimate driver, Ty. Ty, why don't you say something now that you got your voice back? A little bit back. A little bit back. Still sound a little different. Yeah. You know, poor Ty's been suffering from uh, laryngitis, you know. We almost didn't make this trip, you know. My truck is not in the in greatest shape mile, right now. Turn right onto our veal street. Siri, you're an ass. Uh, Interrupting you. Yeah, right? I know. That's fucking rude. Uh, we almost didn't make it. We 
know, Ty wasn't feeling good. My truck's not doing great. And, but, <coughs> you know, Ty's, Ty stuck it out. And, uh, Turn right onto Arvale Street. Uh, we're here. We are here. I'd like to give a shout out to uh, Kimberlyn. Kimberlyn um, Patterson. Talk to you soon, baby. So, uh, who is Kimberlyn? Um, my uh, future wife. Future wife. Yeah. Oh, she, don't know, she don't know that yet, but uh, I'm pretty sure uh, she felt the sparks flying the other day at Braylon's baseball Ooh, game. Ooh, yeah. uh, sparks are good. Sparks are real good. Turn left shift drive, then the destination shift is on your left. What's the deal? It's uh, keep 200 feet, 200 feet, right there. Look, shift drive. Okay. Um, so have y'all been on a date? Not yet. Not yet. No, we, we really haven't even uh, spoke, but a couple the times ever, is but, your left. but the, 40, 20 shift yeah, the connection is but strong. The connection is very strong. Uh, I mean, the sparks were flying. Oh, she, I, know, I know she felt it. There it is, Mayweather so, Boxing Club. He don't train here, does he? Yeah. <clears throat> well, we are at the Mayweather right. Boxing Club. TMT, the money team. Let's go. Let's go check it out. Do we want to go? Is that him right there? Oh no, that looks like a coach. Let's go check it out. The money team. What's going on? You're back. We went by Mayweather's gym. He wasn't there, but uh, met a guy named Cedric. Pretty cool dude. Looks like uh, Mayweather Jr. Just a little bigger. Looks like he's got a lot of potential. Um, I'm supposed to be at the uh, UFC tryouts right now, but it's probably not going to be too, between 2 and 4 that we're going to actually do the workouts. You know, I'm going to start with rolling. And if I make if they, if they I make it past rolling, then I do striking. And if I make it past striking, then I do the uh, application interview. But right now, I'm headed back to um, the TMT, the money team gym. And I'm about to go a couple rounds with uh, Cedric. And then we're gonna head over there and see if they're ready for me to row. If not, I might go somewhere else, get some more work in. I'm thinking about going over to Extreme Couture. But uh, I really wasn't feeling Vegas, but with all the gyms and talent of athletes around here, and just, I feel like my skills could just go to the next level. And uh, I'm starting to, starting to grow on me. The only thing that interests me out here are the teams, you know, and the gyms and the facilities and the and the, and the competitors that are out here, you know, making it. Um, I'm sure there's a lot of good guys at Extreme Couture, too. So Ty is going to be helping me out, you know, warm up, stretch out, wrap up, get this work in and shooting the footage. <clears throat> True Bloodline Chronicles will keep you posted and uh Spread the word if you want to get your fitness on or if you want to pursue a career in uh, boxing or MMA, come over to True Bloodline MMA and Fitness, www.truebloodline.com. And boxing. Yeah, no. I said boxing and MMA. All right. What's going on? We're over here at TMT, Floyd Netherweather's gym. Got to get a couple rounds in before I got to go back to the auditions and do my grappling. I'm right here with Cedric. Uh, hopefully he takes it easy on me, and you know, here I go. That's a two minute round. Got him jabbed. Thank you. 
Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. This guy got the shades on. Yeah, I'm I'm sure. What's going on? True Bloodline Chronicles in the house. I'm fixing to go in the back and uh, do some sparring. I'm here with the man, Uriah Hall. I'm, I'm sure most of y'all remember from the uh, Ultimate Fighter from Tough. What season was that again? Season 17, still the best. Still the best, you know what? That boy put everybody in the hospital. Kind of reminds me of myself. Uh, like I was telling him, you know, I mimic a lot of his moves. We have the same fighting style. We're freestyle fighters. You know, we, we let our nuts hang and uh, we're creative, we're creative. We're inter we are in an entertainment sport, ain't we? Yeah, there you go. Prime time means, you know, when, when prime time's on, you gotta watch. Yeah, yeah, and, 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 and like myself, uh, and, and I know you've overcome it, and uh, you have no choice, but when the pressure's on, you have to rise. That's it. You have to rise. Like I perform best with my back against the wall. Uh-huh. And, and the bigger the dollar, the better the performance, huh? There you go. Uh, I'm out here, and uh, Uriah trains at Couture's gym, Extreme Couture. I done got some boxing in already today over at uh, Mayweather's. And, you know, I want to go to Extreme Couture after this. And I was hoping we can, you know, get some work in. Or he can show me the ropes in the gym. But he's flying out uh, tomorrow morning. Tonight, actually. Tonight, man. Tonight. I bet he stays on a plane. Uh, if he I live out of a suitcase. Oh, man. But hey, it's temporary, you know. Yes, Enjoy it, you know. And um, so he's going to be at Extreme Couture, um, hopefully, when he gets back. And I plan on making it over there. Um, I'm fixing to have to go try out. And I just, I'm excited, you know. And I think Uriah is going to put in a good word for me. So you might see me on the next tough. What you got What you got in the future? Well, I got a fight coming up in a month from now uh, against Sabo Natal, some Brazilian guy who likes to hug. So I got to go out there and fight like a man and show him how to fight. Oh, uh, yeah. You got to sure. represent the uh, USA, huh? Well, Jamaica, too. Okay. <laughs> All right. Yeah. But, um, so, and, and from what I hear, you're doing some acting. I do some acting on the side. You know, it's always been a passion. So uh, it's a great experience to just go out there and try some new shit. Hey, it, it, ain't it great to get paid doing something you love? It's amazing to not have a job. I have a career. So uh, awesome. I'm all about that. And, you know, again, it's about growing. Is, is there something you'd like to say out there to all the upcoming fighters and the youth? Don't stop being yourself, man. And don't stop grinding. It's all about the grind in this world. It's not going to give it to you easy. So you got to put out what you get in. What you put in is what you get back. There you go. There you go. Hey, Uriah Hall, the man. Appreciate it. No problem.